So today I thought we would have a story. I'm going to talk a little bit about design while I apply some finish to these cutting boards. So here's the story. A little while ago, my son came to me and he asked if we could make a couple of, make a cutting board as a wedding present for a friend of his. So I said, yes, of course. But as we talked things out, we decided we'd make two cutting boards. One was going to be sort of a utilitarian, chunky sort of board, and one would be more decorative with the uh, decorative inlay. Now, as an aside, um, I made a video about two years ago about the techniques for making these sort of curved inlay boards, and I, and I know the word inlay is wrong because it's not really an inlay. As you can see on the close-up here, this strip goes all the way through the board. Anyways, it's one of my earlier videos. It's maybe not the best tech, best um, production quality and all that, but I watched it a little while ago. And yeah, all, all the details are there, so I really don't see any point to, uh, to making another one. I'm pretty happy with that other one. That's one of the reasons why I'm just talking it through here. But anyways, back to the story. So we were talking about two cutting boards. And um, so the if we're gonna do two cutting boards, I thought, Let's make them a set. You know, we're doing custom work here. Let's make them a set. So the first thing is, is that these two boards, they're the exact same size. They're about 14 inches long, about 10 inches wide. The, uh, the thin one is around 7 eighths of an inch thick. The thick one is about an inch and three quarters. And um, so yeah, size. And then, um, the second thing is that they are made out of the same kind of wood. So they obviously go together. Um, maple and hard cherry, sorry, hard maple and black cherry and hard maple and black cherry are in both of the boards. And then these, these strips are walnut with, the, with a little bit of paduke. So yeah, so the two boards are the same size and they have the same woods in them. Okay. And finally, and this is what I think really makes for the design part of this video, is I said, let's make these two boards to be mirror images of each other. And what I mean by that is if you look at this board, it's got a stripe of maple in the middle, and then cherry, and then maple, and then cherry, and then maple working its way out. But then the other board is the mirror image of that. So, let me get this on the close-up here. Instead of maple in the middle, it's got cherry in the middle. And then maple, and then cherry, and then maple, and cherry. So it's, it's a, and the boards are all the same thickness. So it's the exact same stripes, but it's mirror imaged from one board to the other. So I think all these together make for a nice custom touch. The size, the wood species, and most importantly of all, the mirroring, the mirror, the mirror imaging of the wood. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. You know, you take each of these two boards on their own, and they would be a nice little custom board, custom cutting board. Nothing wrong with them, but putting the two together, I think, just elevates it that much. It'll just you know, just a step above everything else. And um, yeah, that's that's to me one of the joys of doing custom craft work like this. The ability to just add these little custom touches. It makes it personal. Uh, my son is very happy with it. I had to ask him to let me do all the finishing so I could shoot this video. And hopefully his friend, I think, will be delighted to see something that's handmade. And yeah, oh yeah, and the finish is the same. This is the Clapham's beeswax um, salad bowl finish that I use on all my cutting boards. It's a mix of beeswax and mineral oil. Um, it's dead easy to apply, um, it's food safe, and it's very simple to repair. And of course, you know, it looks great. So, that's my little story for tonight. As always, I'd like to thank you for uh, 
stopping by and spending some time in my shop with me. I hope you found something interesting and enjoyable. Um, yeah, if you feel I've earned it, please consider subscribing. And, uh, you know, we'll see you next time. I think I'll leave these and I'll come back tomorrow and maybe polish them up a bit more. Thank you.